As you know, I study body language. I study humans, their facial expressions, their minds. They are incredibly intelligent. Humans may be the most smartest creature in the universe if you don't count dolphins. So we're going to leave dolphins out of this for a little bit. We're going to study this facial expressions because I tell you what this tells me. This tells me that these people are incredibly depressed. They're incredibly disappointed that they've been lied to their whole academic career. They've been taught nothing but lies and they're looking out into space saying, how could it all go so wrong? How could my teachers and my mentors be so incredibly stupid? How did I buy into this socialistic plan? How did it happen? Well, you're going to need some antidepressants. This is why antidepressants are doing so well in the sales department. Because you got everybody in government completely bewildered. The only thing missing in this picture is the gentleman on the left scratching his head. That's the only thing we're missing here. And I'm sure when people are not looking, he's scratching his head constantly because they are completely clueless to the problem. They have unleashed, they have unleashed QE, quantitative easing, and they don't know why it's not working. Oh, my masters and my mentors told me it would work. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. What's wrong with the world? I'll tell you what's wrong with the world. You two jerk-offs are in charge. That's the problem, unfortunately, yes. If we had some real capitalists, some real people in there with real-world experience, we might be able to get through this crisis. But because we got two complete, utterly stupid morons in charge, it looks like Europe is going to collapse. Oh, let me correct myself. Europe is already collapsing. And to make matters worse, you cannot, you cannot even afford to feed your own people, and yet you're accepting millions and millions of poor people throughout the world and say, oh, we're going to feed all of you because we are the great Europeans. We are the masters of the universe. We can feed the whole world. Well, maybe with the help of Obama, since Obama is going to send you $4 billion to help feed the damn world. Yes, I'm getting tired of looking at your depressed face. Do the world a favor. Both of you resign and tell the truth. Of course, you wouldn't be able to do that because then they'd, they'd have to arrest you because if you told the truth, all of Europe would be panicking beyond despair. Yes, this is a, this is a really desperate situation you put us into masters of the euro, masters of the IMF, masters of the World Bank, masters of the world, and yet you look so disappointed and depressed. And just on a side note, um, IMF Chief, Chief uh, Christine, she really shouldn't be that disappointed <clears throat> because, um, well, let's just figure it out. Her IMF salary is almost five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, a little over that, because you got to add in eighty-three thousand for additional allowances. But here's the kicker, people: all tax-free. Ha ha ha! She's laughing her ass off when she's at home in the shower. Five hundred thousand plus tax-free. Apparently, she even got on TV and said that um. 
that everybody should be paying tax, but not her because she's an IMF official. And, of course, IMF, World Bank employees, don't pay taxes. Now you know who your masters are. It's very simple to find out who your masters are. The people who do not pay taxes, but they tell you you have to t pay taxes. United Nations. IMF, World Bank, United Nations. Wow, they don't have to pay taxes. They got this great little plan they all agreed to. They all signed a diplomatic relations agreement. When will everybody put their foot down and say enough? If I pay taxes, the IMF pay taxes. If I pay taxes, the United Nations will pay taxes. But no, we don't have any really real men out there anymore, do we? There are no real men. We just have a bunch of pansies who listen to the women like Christine. So when Christine barks at you, wimps out there, and she says, I don't pay taxes, but all you other people are going to pay taxes. Well, don't call yourself a man anymore. Call yourself a sheep. <laughs>